on everybody we're getting back to the cr80 build here with the, the swing arm this time so we're going to be doing the swing arm bearings and i'm going to show you an easy way to pull them out and put them back in so we've got one pulled out here and uh just to show you how i did the first one and kind of give you an idea about what i'm going to do with the second one here uh might not be able to film it exactly perfectly but i'm going to try to do my best so basically what i did is when it was sitting inside here like this i put this up into it like that sorry i'm trying to get that in focus here in, in the shot put it up in there and i put a nut on top of it and a couple of washers and pulled the bearing out up to there and then i put some bigger washers that'll go around the bearing and kept pulling it and pulling it out until it came out. So I'm gonna flip this one around here and uh, do the exact same thing. And then you'll see what I'm talking about as I do it. All right, so first you start by pushing the little collar out. So now you got the collar out, you can take your uh, bolt and you can put it up in here and the washer that's why i keep uh bolts and washers just kicking around because you never know what's going to fit in there so uh, actually first of all i forgot to remove it you got to take the seal out then you should be able to put your bolt in with the washer right in there like that and it just goes up through so now the washer, see if get that out of there now. The washer inside here should be contacting the bearing just like that. So as you spin the nut down and the washer, it's going to pull, it's gonna pull on that bearing and pull it out of the top. Now you gotta do it in a couple steps. I'll show you what I mean after. But this is the, by far the easiest way I've found to pull these needle bearings out, whether it be in this swing frame or if it's coming out of the uh, uh, shock linkage. Doesn't matter. You take your, take your ratchet the bottom take your wrench from the top and you just start pulling the bearing out just like that and you'll know when you run out of room and you and you need to add more washers when it binds up so now I've reached the end of it so now I'm gonna take take the nut off that take these washers off now you'll need some i don't know if, uh, you can either use a, a big piece of pipe or anything i'm using the some big washers that go over this and it's bigger than the bearing so i'm able to pull the bearing out of the bore a little bit more and i gotta add a couple more washers after but you get that thread started there and then same as before, you just start pulling it out until it binds up on the bearing. I like pulling needle bearings this way because if there is a chance of ever saving them, if you stick a socket in there and start beating the hell out of it, the needles can fall out and then you can end up losing them or even on installation, needle bearings don't necessarily stay in there you can put a little bit of grease in the needle bearing but uh, they're not necessarily going to stay in there if you're hammering the the heck out of them so i like to do it this way because it's nice and smooth and then you can uh you can pull them out nice and easy nice and smooth Keep 
bag and washers until you've got the until you've got it out which there it should be out now there it is just like that there it is just like that nice and easy no hammering required So I've got the grease all cleaned out of the bore. I'm gonna re-grease it and put the new bearing in from the top down. So I'll just reverse the process of what I did from the bottom. So the top, I'll just use that same washer to pull the bearing in and the washer will go inside the bore and pull it down to uh, probably about the weld here. So I got the bearings in the freezer so I'll go get those out and then I'll start uh, pulling them in. So I got the first bearing in here and uh, what I figured out is that I had to, I, I didn't have a long enough bolt to get, when the bearings here are ready to be pulled in this way, this isn't long enough to get threaded underneath here to get it pulled. So I had to uh, bring out the my puller rod and it pulls it in just as easy, but you just gotta do it in two steps, which I still find easier than pounding these bearings in because I just I just don't like the idea of smashing on a brand new bearing to get it in. This is a lot more uh, consistent of a pull and it pulls it in nice and easy. So I'll grab the bearing from the freezer and I'll show you what I mean. I also really don't like the idea of uh, smacking on the swing frame either, because just you you don't know you can you can damage stuff doing that, right? So you bring it up through the middle, and you thread one nut on here. This is going to be the I guess the reactionary member, if you want to call that. So you thread it out until it goes up through that bearing. You got enough thread to put it up through the bearing and then you put another nut and a washer on and then I'm just gonna pull it flush with the with the puller rod then then I can switch back to that uh, that bolt I don't have long enough bolts to do this all in one shot so I got to use two different two different things here rod coming out and then I'll put washer and then the next nut and then that usually that usually centers it nice so it's a nice even pull down and then you should be able to pull that bearing in nice and evenly You'll know, don't, uh, don't try and force it to go. It'll give you some resistance, but it should go fairly easily. Like this is going, it's giving me some resistance, but it's going in, as you can see. If you're really having a torque on it, then something you something's gone wrong, and you gotta back it out and see what's going on. Trying to get on this, the nut, nut as gentle as I can. I watched some some uh, playback there, and when I hit the nut with the wrench, the camera shakes. So sorry about that. Okay, so that just bound up. So we're flush with the with the swing arm now. So that's as far as I can go with this. 
So now I gotta take this all apart. Take it all apart and remount the, uh, the smaller bolt so that we can uh, pull it in. And we're gonna countersink it till about, well, probably about there or so. it easy because that was actually through the other new bearings so I gotta be gentle with it for sure so now put this up through here put this over there because that's the washer that's going to pull the bearing through for me there we go now you want the you want the washer centered on the on the bearing you ratchet in back it up now you're gonna pull the bearing in until it's in its final place and again just pull on it you'll feel resistance for sure but if it's if you're really having trouble, you shouldn't have to pull it that hard to pull it in. So you probably wanna you wanna back it out too, just to see how, how far you've gone. Just to have a look. Because you only want to go so far. And that is probably perfect right there. That is about, focus here. That is about how far it was when it came out. So as you can see, bearings installed. I put the seal in, all the grease and everything, but I'm not gonna do that just yet because I've gotta plug the holes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint this after. I have a little bit more sanding to do, but uh, I'm gonna paint it later on. I've got uh, a couple of pieces here painted for the uh, slack adjusters for the chain. But that is how you do that without beating the crap out of your swing frame.